In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a league. There are two things you need to have before you set up a league. One is a personal player profile in pickleball.com, and the other is a club that needs to be set up. This will indicate the club that will be running your league. Once those two items are set up, you'll log into pickleball.com, and you'll come over here to the Leagues tab. Once you click on the Leagues tab, the next screen will allow you to create a new league. The next screen will also allow you to choose what club will be running and be responsible for this league. It's going to take you through several steps, so we'll just read top to bottom. In the first one, the status is you want to make sure it's set to active. This is the club that will be running the league, and for this one, I'm going to call it GG's Women's League 3.0, which will meet on Mondays. I could even put it that it's in Monday evenings. Okay. Here you have the different types of leagues that you can run. It'll give you the player type, scramble or partner, men's, women's, mixed or co-ed, and the format, doubles or singles. You also have the option if you choose this to allow partners to enter scores. If it's set to yes, the player will be able to enter in scores in the matches that their names are in only. They can't do it for other people. Here is the logo where you can put your logo that you'll have for the league. If you don't have one for your league, it can default to whatever you've put in for your club. And if there's nothing in the club, nothing will show. Here you will put your contact person for people to ask questions with. There is a contact um, league button on the league site. And if they click on it, most of the questions will come to um, this person. You can also um, add this down below or add a different email if you want to receive emails regarding questions at a different location. I'm just going to put the same one in for continuity. Down below are CC emails. Anytime a player registers, updates their registration, withdraws, or it gets put on the wait list, you can have an email sent to you so you can see how your league registrations are going. Down below is an area for you to put in your description, additional information, and we highly recommend you have a refund policy. Okay. With that being said, we're done with the first page. Now we're on to the second. Here is where you would choose your checkout options by receiving money. We only have the options for Stripe and on-site payment. For this, I'm going to choose on-site payment. However, if you are using Stripe, the Stripe needs to be set up in your club first, and then you will have an activate button for Stripe here. The next is discount codes. So say Betty's a great um, player and she's done a lot for you and you want to give her a discount. I usually give her Betty Boop. And say I want to give her $10 off her um, session pay, and I'll limit it to just her. So I'll choose one this discount code can only be used once. This way she's not sharing with all their family and friends. But discount codes are used a lot for sponsors, so if they've donated a lot of money to run your league, you can put them in there as well and, and have them have their sessions paid for free. The next is sponsors. This is you can choose what level sponsor they are. They're listed accordingly. Here is where your their logo will go the title, the name of their company, and if they have a store, you can put their URL. So when they, a player clicks on that logo, they'll be able to go to their store and see what their options. Here you want to add a manager. This is the manager um, that is respond the primary person that we would contact. And as you can see, the, the managers have different permissions. If you are the primary, I would never give up my primary because you can add or subtract people. But other managers, you can allow them just to do, they have all the other permissions, but just not the primary. You can only have one primary manager within your league. Once you've chosen the permissions that you want the manager to have, be sure to save the button next to the, that player's name and then save up above. This way we can guarantee that it's set. You're done with setting up your league, and then you can begin with your sessions. Thanks you for joining us today.